Now your Fox Carolina first alert weather. Well, those temperatures continue to be the big story as we continue these below normal temperatures into the weekend as well. A lot of sunshine though, so that's kind of the flip side of that is at least we've got a lot of sunshine to work with. We just don't have very warm temperatures to be able to get out and enjoy it. So you're going to want to bundle up here. Our temperatures this evening are already dropping down into the 40s and even some 30s up into the mountains with 37 in Waynesville. You've got 46 in Bakersville and 47 in Brevard. Still hanging out at 51 in Franklin, 52 in Rutherfordton, so not too bad there with 52 in Spartanburg Union, Greenville down to Anderson and into Abbeville, uh, 53 for you and 55 in Tacoa. You're actually the warm spot on the map right now. Now our temperatures tonight are going to drop as our as the sun goes down. We've got a little increase in cloud cover that's going to try to help us out tonight, but it's not going to do a very good job because we've got 45 at 7 and then dropping to 40 degrees by the time we get to 11 o'clock this evening. Uh, so it's going to be rather chilly as we head through those evening hours. Definitely going to go to grab the coats as you head out and about. If you're headed out this evening, down to 31 across the upstate. So it is going to be below freezing for tomorrow morning across the upstate with those partly cloudy skies, nice light wind, pretty good radiational cooling conditions. Now a little extra cloud cover in the mountains isn't really going to help us. Normally that would actually uh, favor us and give us some slightly warmer temperatures, but I still think we're going to drop into those mid 20s across the mountains because this cold air that's got a hold on the area is just so powerful. We've got 54 tomorrow afternoon in Gaffney as well as Cowpens. You get 56 in Gray Court down to Moore and into Malden with a lot of sunshine. Uh, so this is fairly similar to where we were this afternoon, maybe a couple of degrees warmer. 58 and 96 tomorrow afternoon with 56 in Belton as well as Seneca. You get a high of 48 though in Weaverville down to Silva. 44 in Highlands, North Carolina and 51 in Hendersonville. So a lot of the mountains getting stuck in the 40s once again for tomorrow afternoon. Notice the next couple of days just kind of hovering here uh, with those low 50s all the way through Monday. And then we gradually start to warm up a little bit as we look towards Wednesday at 58 degrees there and 56 on Thanksgiving. Uh, but it is going to be really chilly, especially as we head into Monday morning. That's one thing I want to highlight here on the seven day forecast is look at those lows in the upstate in the mid 20s on Monday morning. That's the upstate low. Uh, the mountains also going to be in the mid 20s, but that's a little more uh, useful for you guys. You guys have gotten used to that the last couple of days. Uh, as we head into Tuesday, small chance for showers. A little more focus though on Black Friday at this point for that chance for rain. At this point, it's not a slam dunk on those rain chances for Black Friday, but we'll be keeping a close eye on that as we get a little bit closer. There's still a little bit of some differences in the models. Notice the mountains getting back into the 50s though by Monday, so that'll be a welcome change for those folks. Uh, finally starting to warm up just a little bit. Chris? Well, remember, you can get our forecast by heading to our website, foxcarolina.com. Get your forecast there 24-7. Chris?